So good afternoon everyone. Um, uh, welcome to this session. Uh, the session is learning virtually and locally the University of Jos Loco Hub. Um, this will be uh, taken through uh, or will be led by Dr. Jerome Tapasadoga. Uh, Jerome is a friend of mine <laughs> and um, Jerome is an English, uh, English lecturer in the Department of English, Faculty of Arts at the University of Jose in Nigeria. Uh, Jerome is, the, um, is also an Emerge Africa Regional Coordinator for West Africa and Commonwealth of Learning, uh, consultant to the Schools of Education at the National Open University of Nigeria. He trains fellow, fellow academics in Jose in the Learning Fellowship Program to use technology for teaching and research. Jerome holds a PhD in English and received postgraduate training in educational technology at the University of Cape Town. He has presented many, many research papers in various places. Um, he has also published widely. I'm sure we'll be able to read some of his publications. Um, it is a pleasure to introduce you, Jerome. Um, uh, it's really nice to uh, uh, have you uh, take us through this, uh, 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 the local hub that uh, you are so passionate about. And we welcome everybody. Uh, please feel free to ask questions. I know there will be a lot of questions. Please feel free to ask questions and type them in the text chat. Uh, Jerome, please welcome. Over to you. Thank you very much, Irene. Welcome everybody, and welcome my friends here at the University of Jos, local hub who are gathered. Welcome also the friends at the Badon. I think a number of people are gathered in other places. So let's converse on learning virtually and locally. We have had an interesting experience here at the University of Jos. We will discuss this from three phases. We will first build a background around today's connected world of technology. Then we will interrogate the African concept of community. And then we will conclude with learning virtually and locally. If we say we live in a connected world, that will be a cliche, it's become a, a worn out cliche. But what this has done is that it has made it possible for online professional networks, such as the one in which we are now, Image Africa, to provide a, a space so that we can share online conversations, so that we can reinforce mutually we can support one another mutually in our professional practices, in all the crazy or in all the stable ways that we want to do things in order to facilitate learning and improve our professional practice. Tony mentioned earlier that operating in such a connected world on this kind of space has many advantages. If this were a face-to-face -face, um, conference, we would have had to travel along with the risks associated with traveling. We would have had to budget money for traveling, perhaps buying tickets. We would have also had to budget travel time. But here, all of this, are out of it. The only time we need is the time we are connected here to listen. There are also no costs for lodging because we don't have to travel out of our comfort zone, so we don't need to pay for any lodging. It is also flexible, as Tony mentioned, not everybody who would benefit from this eventually is connected right now but many will connect later and review and benefit from these presentations. 
It is convenient both for participants and for presenters. Some are connected to us live now, but others will connect uh, asynchronously later. All of these are benefits of connecting in this uh, world that technology enables us to do. Plus, if we observe, we can make reflective conversations. Conversations that may be richer and more in-depth than those that we are able to do in many face-to-face -face conferences. For example, after this live discussions, we'll go to the chats, we'll go to the forum discussions, we'll go to the WhatsApp, or the, the Facebook page, and we can keep enriching the conversation and going on and on and on. But why this is community in this sense? The African concept of community is slightly different, and therefore this kind of connection that we are connecting virtually uh, is not always looked at as completely convenient and satisfactory. Let us look at three African proverbs that give us an idea of how Africans in general look at community. One proverb says, teeth that are together help each other in chewing food. You may say that yes, we are together because we're talking here online, but the warmth of this togetherness from the traditional African perspective is lost. Another proverb says, seen is different from being told. So seen is the face-to-face -face connection where you can share banter, not at a, a switch off a time like we would do in the chat room or in the tea room, the coffee room. Another proverb says, when spider webs unite, they can tie up a lion. So there are others in various uh, spaces who are at various stages of understanding online communication, online interaction, online learning. But they are not just curious, they are really interested in doing so. So when we come together in a hub, we provide assistance for such ones. We provide also enlightenment for them, and they get to say, aha, so this is what this means. Oh, I can do it too. So these proverbs uh, give us a sense of the African concept of community. And community is really important to the African. We see a picture here. Uh, community creates a sense of significance. It gives a sense of security. It provides mutual support. Above all, it gives a sense of warmth, a sense of connecting with others. This picture is a uh, open license, so uh, I, I felt free to use it here. They are scholars who say that the sense of community provided through completely virtual interactions, such as we are doing, is the Western individualized sense. And they feel that this is isolating. So the, the sense of community which Africans cherish is this sense where they can see one another, they can talk to one another, they can also uh, interact in formal and informal ways and extend the conversations. A local hall provides that kind of thing. So when we began to interact on Image Africa and on other platforms, we saw that there was some disconnect. 
the affordances uh, of technology were nice. You could stay in your home. But the, it also lacked something. And therefore, we were not doing so well in participating in online um, interactions. So we saw that we needed to harness the two possibilities. You see in this picture, there is a, an interactive whiteboard. There is a, a whiteboard there, so we are able to connect live. But you will see people also seated and holding their devices. And therefore, this is the two together. When we learn locally and virtually, it provides this atmosphere that is free of distractions. Uh, some of you who are connecting to this in your offices, people would step in and ask you to excuse them so they would discuss some work. Or you may receive a phone call and, and you need to pause a little bit to go and handle something quickly at work. And there's also this sense of uh, I you are doing so many things and therefore you will not be able to concentrate so well. It is possible for those of us connected here at the local hub to have been in our offices or in our homes. But meeting at a local hub creates a sense of significance, a sense of importance. It gives you the sense that when you are through with this, you say, I'm through with discussing this matter, handling this matter today. Let me go and do other things. But if you stayed in your uh, locale without coming here, you would uh, maybe connect for a few minutes and maybe just go away. Also here, we are able to provide technical support. And this is important because many people really want to participate. You send the emails to them but they do not know just what to do, how to connect. And then internet connectivity is also a challenge. So here, many of the people who are uh, enjoying this now are not physically connected themselves because of the challenge of connectivity, because it is projected, they are seeing and hearing and therefore benefiting. So it's like a, a, a marriage, a convenient, a convenient marriage of the face-to-face uh, meetings and virtual communication. It provides also a space for in extended interpersonal conversations on the presentations. Many times when we meet, uh, it provides an opportunity for participants to discuss other things that they would otherwise only keep postponing that I would like to have discussed this. But when they meet, then they are able to discuss this and share ideas. If the support to be provided, it is provided. If it is uh, not support, if it is an advice or a new idea, then we share such ideas together. This is the way Africans do. So how, somebody was asking, how do you set up a local hub? Very simple. First, in your own community, identify colleagues with similar professional interests. Identify these colleagues, and one way of doing so is you can set up a WhatsApp group and chat people up and add them up to the WhatsApp group. At the University of Jaws, we had a base because we had the e-fellows, uh, a community of... Uh, trainees, scholars, uh, and colleagues who were already uh, learning how to use technology for teaching, learning, and administration. So they, they formed the, the base of colleagues who had this interest. And then we began to add others who were not e-fellows, but who were also interested. Now, after you, you would have identified colleagues and you, you would have discussed uh, the possibilities, then you find a location, you set it up. Many times in the past, we have not used the location that we are using now because of various institutional and systemic reasons. 
but we have always found a reason and we have always uh, agreed among ourselves that we will meet at such a location and when we do that we communicate all that is involved sometimes what is involved may include uh, uh, refreshments you see in this picture you see some people holding plates of rice uh, yes of course tony said we'll hold a party we'll hold a party and we'll talk about things but nobody will share a plate of rice like you see in this picture okay then why are the hub itself before connecting why connecting during the presentations after the presentations one of the things we try to do is to create an atmosphere of camaraderie friendship and this is the warmth that we talk about many people yearn for that kind of warmth and this kind of warmth creates that sense of community in the traditional sense of one being just a part of and that is one of the advantages and generally why we are the hub we try to add value we try to uh, make people wish to come they, they, they love it they want to come another time as often as they have the opportunity of course it is not uh, possible for very busy people to come to an event like the uh, festival of e-learning which spans a total of two weeks but we, we can look at the program and agree and say we will converge on social day and on social day and on social day and in that way we would pick and choose uh, so that we benefit together um, completely so if you want to set up a hub this is what is involved everybody uh, feels part of the process uh, they, they are no uh, leaders per se so when somebody said that um, I'm a hero I am not the entire uh, community at the University of Jaws uh, are heroes because the, 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 what motivates them to come is the the feeling that they want to participate together share ideas together and mutually reinforce uh, one another professionally and interpersonally now let's talk about uh, something one of the persons uh, professor isaac asked in the previous chat uh, whether somebody needs to be at a hub in order to participate in these events the answer as was correctly given is no so there are those who were part of this hub they, they got some of the support they needed they understood how they could participate in future events and now they feel that they can stay in their own private space and still participate it is still a plus it is still very great if in future we do not need to congregate people but we would have uh, helped everybody to be able to conveniently and successfully participate online uh, in online events like this then the local hub would have been a success the story would have been a success technology is already changing the way people interact not just elsewhere but also in africa people are frequently seen on their phones they are on social media nearly every time they are awake uh, so people are talking to others less now than they did before that's part of the disruption that technology is bringing and even in our own part of the world the people are getting more capacity in the use of different tools uh, they, that would reduce the need for technical assistance in basic operations such as connecting to adobe connect or to vula 
Also, the quality and cost of connectivity is improving at snail speed, but it's improving. But in future, when it has improved considerably and the cost has come down to the point where people can always get connectivity in their private spaces without having to come together and perhaps benefit from some common connectivity, sure, that may also uh, reduce the need for uh, a local hub. But in our own space, we see that this will take a long time because much bigger than all of these factors that are listed on this slide is the sense of community which will continue. Yeah. Often you see people uh, who attended local hubs and for a long time we have not called for one and they say, you people have forgotten us. What is happening? They have their, their devices. They have access to the emails and the, the newsletters that Image Africa posts to them. But they are waiting for something to happen. And for them, that something is calling them together so that they can hold uh, an event such as this and enjoy it together. So even when technology improves, even when the cost improves, even when people build more capacity and can connect by themselves, I, I see that the, the need to connect the way we connect here at the local hub would still be there because of the sense of warmth, the sense of co collegiality, the sense of camaraderie, the, the African sense of community, of being together and being part of a larger group. But eventually, it's possible that, uh, like it happens in Europe, it happens in many other countries, in future, we might have a local hub looking like this, where uh, everybody would uh, get back to their own cocoon and hide in their own private space and will be only able to connect to them online and not be able to see their faces and uh, share banter and talk uh, things uh, that are not may not even be related to to the technology itself. But I see this as uh, very far fetched. I see it as very far fetched. What is more likely is that we will con continue to reinforce and support each other at our local hubs. The good news is that. This began as a unijous local hub, but as we speak, we have colleagues assembled also at Ibadan. And before the festival of e-learning will be over, I see that we might have people assembled also in Freetown in Sierra Leone, where they are also arranging another local hub. So this is not just a just thing, and this is not just a Nigerian thing. Very likely, this is a West African and potentially an African thing, um, where people feel more comfortable coming together, uh, relating together, and using occasions like this as an excuse to uh, be, reinforce and strengthen their bonds of togetherness. Good. So when will Africa fully migrate into this space where there will be Wi-Fi, everybody will be getting through this space? Maybe that time it will, Africa may redefine its sense of community. But I don't see that happening very soon. I think that we will continue to expand and strengthen our communities through our local hubs and use them as a basis to strengthen our professional relationships and our, our professional practices. I guess uh, this is all that I have to say to, to share. This is all that I have to, to say to share this uh, experience. Thank you all very much, uh, Irene. I have uh, said what I can say. Oh, thank you.
Tom, um, that was uh, great. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, we were having a bit of a uh, where I was offered some virtual rice there, and I was told it's not only rice, it's jollof rice. Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, uh, uh, Olufemi has a question about uh, the, 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 the um, uh, uh, is asking, sorry, uh, Olufemi is asking if others who are not physically present and participants in the hub then, uh, uh, participate in the hub, then why should the hub be encouraged? So perhaps you can, you can tell us what courage and uh, probably also talk about a bit of the benefits that you've seen people appreciate they have. Over to you, Joe. Okay, thank you, Femi. Um, yes, it is possible for, for others to participate without being in the hub. And if everybody uh, was cool being on their own and felt comfortable flying solo and going and had no challenges, perhaps we will not have the need for a hub. But we have, we have people operating at different levels. And we have people who have the, the desire without the requisite uh, know-how. And we have people who need to be encouraged to see that this use of technology at all is important. There are others who know that something is happening, but they don't know what it is that is happening, and they do not know why it is happening. Such people prefer to come so they can see people and ask questions and, and chat and discuss. So, but if anyone uh, prefers to be on their own and they feel cool with that, we do not berate them at all. Because a win-win situation, if people, everybody were connected and will feel comfortable connecting the way they do, perhaps in Europe and maybe in South Africa, we wouldn't complain. But here, because of our peculiarities and our culture of feeling that something is more important is happening when we get together. When we are not together, it's not so important. That sense of importance, that sense of support is why the local hubs happen. Uh, thank you, Jerome. Uh, we have another question. Uh, I don't know if you can see the questions there. Uh, what do you discuss at the local hub? And do you meet at different places or one location? And perhaps you could also combine it with how is the hub funded? I, I was just wondering, um, who pays for the space? Is it donated? Just those little things so that they can benefit the others. Please, over to you. Okay, let me start by talking about space. Right now, the local hub is meeting at the University of Jos uh, ICT Directorate. So the space is provided by the university. The connectivity I'm using is also provided by the university. So to that extent, space and connectivity are at no cost. But it is not always the case. We planned to hold uh, some of these hubs earlier and unfortunately there were strikes and because there were strikes we could not meet on campus and because we could not meet on campus we needed to get space and yes we had to pay for that space uh, the last hub we held before this one uh, some people actually came forward and said, we appreciated it the last time we had refreshments. What does it take to have refreshments? Can we make contributions? Because I was shy. I didn't want people to feel that uh, they were being taxed to bring some funds uh, so we could offer refreshments. But when people volunteered, uh, it helped. And we were able to offer refreshments and everybody benefited. So that's about 
about meeting spaces. Ideally, we would always want to meet on campus where we won't have to incur the cost of space, we won't have to incur the cost of connectivity, we won't have to incur the cost of electricity because uh, just before this Tony session, our public source of power supply went off. But uh, the ICT directorate has a standby generator, so they put it on, and therefore we didn't have to worry about that. If we move out of this space, we have to ask, arrange for uh, alternative source of power supply and stuff like that. Now, uh, the other part of the question, Irene, um, what do we discuss? We discuss things that affect our professional development. Specifically, we discuss uh, how we would use technology more effectively in teaching and learning. Many of the people who have come here have experimented with or have actually uh, began using technology uh, in their professional life. But there are challenges. Some of the challenges are based on inadequate knowledge. Other challenges are for institutional uh, limitations. And then there are systemic challenges. But when people come together at the local hub, we discuss these things. In addition to whatever the presentation or presentations were that we discussed, uh, you, would, you may find it funny, but uh, at one hub, somebody was presenting and was talking about the community of practice and was using the abbreviation. Uh, and many people didn't know what that abbreviation meant. They didn't know uh, that it meant community of practice. Uh, so if they were on their own, the entire presentation didn't put community of practice in full. Uh, but because we were at the hub, some people say, what is this COP, COP that they are talking about? And so we talked about community of practice, explained it to those who asked, and discussed those kinds of things extensively. I think I've answered that. Oh, uh, yes. Um, it, uh, uh, quite nice. Thank you. Um, I am just wondering if uh, we, some, if we, we could get um, someone from the hub to tell us something. Uh, benefited or something uh, the experience they have do you have someone can come to the mic um, Jerome or someone who has a mic from the hub oh yes uh, Joe yeah, uh, you have sure okay go ahead if, if you have a mic you can you can tell us just the experience from inside the hub uh, And I guess others are typing. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, that's okay. I was hoping that Joe was Joe coming to your mic or he has his own mic. Please speak, Joe. We are listening. Mike, can you can you hear us, or you can type that you can? Okay, great. Please go on. Please make sure that your mic is green at the top. It's not muted, otherwise we won't hear you, uh, Joel. Um, the others in the hub, perhaps uh, you can type in your experiences. That would be really nice for us. 
And I have noted that Gabriel and Ayatollah said that they have a similar arrangement. Perhaps if you have your mics ready later, you can tell us how that works out for you also and see um, where uh, we, can, we can borrow a few things from. So I don't know if Ayatollah, you have um, a mic, then you can speak after, after Joel speaks. Joel, can you speak now? Ayatollah is saying this is uh, the first experience um, but how did you get people to meet together um, if you can tell us how did you make it work how, how what did you do to make sure that people come together uh, Ayatollah would you like to take the mic or you your mic is not enabled yes seven is a big number Ayatollah that would be great um, Yes, there are quite a number of, of people giving feedback here. Um, I was hoping we could hear some voices. Okay, I'll tell her I see. Jerome, in the meantime, is with Joel Connect. Do you have some that might have crossed your mind in the few minutes uh, that everybody is typing there? And, um, I also like to you have a mic you could also um uh, me um, probably even the challenges that you have might also be nice okay and do you want to say something from the what is going on me irene you want me to speak I was thinking that Joel was Everybody is the saying their experiences. So I was thinking that uh, uh, perhaps you could you could just um, as you see the, the the chats going on. Perhaps you can have a few comments as we get Ayatollah to to be a, a presenter to upgrade her so that her mic can be be enabled. Yes, please. Yes, you 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 see the comment from uh, Miriam. Uh, that uh, we have challenges of of connectivity and um, so when when you think about those challenges and uh, an online event is advertised and you are there on your own you just get discouraged you 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 wish that you would take part but you know that when you try to connect you you try and try and you may not succeed so which is why when we meet together uh, at a hub even if everybody cannot connect uh, we are at least able to connect and uh, follow the thing follow the discussion uh, online as we project it and then we can discuss whatever the takeaways are and sometimes we collect the questions if there are questions people raise what the questions are and whoever has connectivity types them in and all of us benefit from the feedback that we receive. Irene? Um, yes, thank you. Um, who am I? Who is on? Oh, um, Jerome, you still want to continue? Now, I was just commenting on, um, on some of the comments you see inside. Um, they, they are very many challenges that we face at this end um, and those are challenges that make uh, having a hub uh, a more effective way of participating in online engagements uh, if people are to connect individually some of these challenges will discourage them and therefore they will not benefit at all
um, thank you so so much um uh, gabriel would you want to share with us your challenges in in putting together you have a mic uh, gabriel no um now perhaps we can open as a mic would like to say something they'll have some time um we would love to hear some voices it will really be nice and then you get i can it to be easier to uh to share your your voice here yes Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, I'll ask uh, and, uh, Joel you, to use you, you're not. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Can Joel I can read? use your mic, Jerome. Uh, that, yes, please. Yes. I'll, I'll ask Joel to, to just step over and use my mic. Joel, please. Uh, oh, perfect. And then you want to else, actually. Yeah, please. Okay. Um, we are still waiting for Joe. Um, I hope you got into the mic. Um, yes, I think it's uh, good okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yes, it's it's fantastic to hear at least a few voices from there. Yes, we have someone uh, joining us from Lusaka. Welcome. Uh, if you can hear, that's great. So is he there now? So we can go on. Joe, over to you. It's called technology. Let's be patient. Okay. I mean, this drill. Can I talk? Okay, go on. Just proceed, Joel. Um, yeah. We would love to hear your voice. Please proceed. Okay. Yes, please proceed. Thank you for thank you for the opportunity. I, I was trying to say that apart from. Apart from attending the remote hub, we have new members that come on board. And as we meet, we help them in connecting, getting connected. And apart from the connection, we also reflect on some things that we learn newly. Especially, we have colleagues from different departments, different faculties. So as we discuss, um, some reflect on things that relate to their department, relate to their faculties. So having the hub is very important because without that, we cannot be able to discuss those things and also help the new members that they are just coming on board. So for us here, yeah, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to have the hub to now pull our energy together. We leverage on individual skills also. Thank you. Um, so, um, Joe, before you go, before you go, um, yes, individual skills, and I, I know you said that you also uh, at the building like uh, give skills to to the to the people who, who have challenges in connecting. Um, so, is that yes. done uh, by everybody, or have specific people for that? Um, can you speak or you okay go on Joe 
Yes. Um, so as Jerome mentioned, I, I think we lost Joe. I think the connection um, has been lost briefly. Um, the sound just went uh, from from uh, Jerome's side. So um, I think it is there to anyway. It's it's uh, we are quite into the hour. Um, is there anyone else who would like to say something? Uh, Kinyemi is asking Jerome how you maintain your hub. I don't know if they can, they have sorted their sound. Let's see. Sound so my a little late, um, and I can see that we are having uh, lots of lots of um, for me saying hub can be very for a number of reasons, uh, but hubs help build interest and capacity. It may have to be uh, to give birth to more uh, virtual meetings. Yeah, true. So there, there are so many th things that have and done what um, Jerome has been uh, sharing with us. Um, Olufemi, would you like to say something? Uh, let us know from, from the, if you can connect your mic and say something, Olufemi. Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, I know you know how to do your mic, so you can connect and speak, please. As we wait for Jerome and uh, his uh, people to connect their their mic, please. Olufeme. Um, have you connected your mic? Please connect your mic first. Make sure that it's green. And then you can speak. Uh, good afternoon, colleagues. Can you all hear me? Loud and clear. Keep going all over. Okay. Uh, Loud and clear. Okay. Interesting. Uh, thanks to, uh, to Dr. Jero uh, from the University of Jaws, despite the security problems in Jaws. Uh, I'm glad to hear that uh, the hub C functions. However, you, you presented very interesting uh, uh, points there, and I think um, I want to say something about hub. Hub is good, as I said in the chat. It's very good and a very interesting thing. But um, uh, with the way technology is going and uh, the way connection, connectivity, community is being built virtually, I see um, it's in not near future anyway, far future that it is uh, going to be limited. I'm talking about a physical meeting might be limited, so my extent in future, uh, as it pertains to academics and other uh, activities, uh, maybe in different sectors of human endeavor. However, I believe that hope is good. Hope may yeah, promote interpersonal relationship, community uh, building and want and all that. But uh, if it is still possible um, that people could connect, members of the hub could connect uh, from distance places without being the hub at a particular time. Uh, it's, it, 
of course to me that uh, it will it will mean that uh, those who are connected uh, from afar, who are members of the board, uh, may likely be the uh, maybe enthusiast of uh, the uh, meet, uh, virtual meeting, and so who uh, begin to spread the hope and the benefits of the hope uh, even in their respective places. So hope is good to uh, build an initial community, initial. Uh, skill development in virtual meeting, and as time goes on, I believe that uh, the member, members of the hubs will be spreading and uh, creating hubs in different uh, neighboring communities. This is good. This is one of the very good advantages I see in the hub. However, I think uh, in near future, maybe near future, it is uh, possible that uh, physical meeting, because of its a uh, lot of challenges, might become limited. Uh, Dr. Jerome, that is my little contribution to your presentation. Thank you. Um, thank you so, so much. Um, um, I can see, Bella, you have your uh, hand up. Uh, if you we will uh, update you to your presenter so that your mic can be enabled and then you can speak to us. I, I think Jerome's mic um, might have uh, might have gone off. I don't know what what happened. Oh, what am I trying to do here? <laughs> so, Bello, um, um, as you prepare your your thoughts, uh, thank you, um, Bello. I have uh, um, if you your mic is ready. Uh, you can speak to us. Thank you, Lufemi, for uh, your contributions. Uh, Miriam, you're asking about a mentorship program. I'm just wondering how the mentorship program would look like. Um, uh, Bello, you have your mic. Hello, can you hear me now? Y yes, please. Please go to us. Okay. Um, my take on this hub as uh, concerns are being raised is that, uh, like I said, uh, we can, the stark reality that we have is that there are a lot of issues with technology use and uh, using technology and integrating in teaching and learning. So uh, a hub, like I said, could be a starting point at initial meetings that will encourage uh, the use of the technology, familiarity with the technology, so that at the end of the day, it will grow to an online community, uh, like uh, Jerome has said. But first, you need to have a starting point, a rallying point, to start with that. And that is, I think, uh, peculiar with uh, developing nations like here in West Africa and so on. So we should take the hope as where we do our capacity building and where we, we start it up and uh, conscientize people in the use of technology. And then from there, we now build out community, uh, online community. So the hub will now be reduced to where you go for new people to come and learn and to prepare their things. But once we're in an online community, all these meetings can be done uh, online from uh, remote distances. I think that's the take on it. Hello? Thank you so much for everybody who has joined us today. Different parts of, 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 of uh, Africa and Africa. Thank you so much uh, for, uh, uh, to join, um, for joining us. And thank you everybody from different uh, that they are put together. We shall continue the discussion in the forums. Uh, uh, please join us there. We continue the discussion. You can ask all sorts of questions when you're there. And especially the one uh, the new one you wanted uh, mentorship, please bring up a uh, discussion. Um, and let's see you around. And thank you for being in uh, Bye bye, and see you in the next uh, session. Um, see you then. Bye.